Every Thanksgiving, Bristol's two high school football teams face off. They're fighting for two things, a win and bragging rights for the next year before kickoff today. The teams and fans honor the city's two fallen officers as, Brist as Bristol continues to heal. Here's Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. The community is still reeling, but I, I love to see that we're getting back to some sense of normalcy. Another Thanksgiving full of highlight plays and hard-nosed football at Muzzy Field. But before the thrilling Battle of the Bell between Bristol Central and Eastern, a tribute to the city's fallen officers. What I've seen in Bristol this year is just uh, very heartwarming. A moment of silence this morning for Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey, who were killed on October 12th. Their badge numbers spray painted in yellow on the end zones next to a thin blue line flag. Always thankful for family and friends. We need family and friends to get us through hard times, and I think that's a lesson that we learned here in Bristol. Sports has a way of uniting us, helping with the healing process. It was close all morning, with Bristol Central eventually winning the game 13-6. Alumni, parents, police officers watching from the sidelines. And of course, the crowd bringing the energy. Both bands, too. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving without coming to the Central Eastern Thanksgiving Day game. This means a lot to the town, definitely. This is a fierce rivalry, one that's been dominated by Central in the last few years. Before that, it was Eastern winning the Battle of the Bell on a consistent basis. You hear the crowd, they get into it. They, they love this. It's very cool. In Bristol, Dylan Fearon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.